Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, something interesting happened over the weekend. Another news outlet called JK Rowling a transphobe. Yep. <laughs> imagine imagine that. And uh, a lawyer on speed dial. Wow. Yeah, we're going to talk about this because I would not go there. She does have a history of suing or threatening to sue people for defamation. She's getting kind of tired of being called a transphobe. And there is a lot of money on the line. I mean, they're, they're remaking Harry Potter as a series. And I guess what prompted this is a uh, shocker. She's going to be an executive producer on a show based on books she wrote. Can you imagine that? But wasn't she like an executive producer on the movies and stuff too? I believe she had... was, yeah. Yeah, and she had input into the scripts, I know, especially the last couple scripts. Uh, she had a lot of oversight uh, on that. But imagine that. Uh, imagine that. J.K. Rowling is going to be an executive producer on her own property. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? They should have like just kicked her out of Hogwarts. Uh, that game, however, Hogwarts Legacy, she had no input into. She really didn't care. It's just and that's what they're all losing their shit over too. And so anyway. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get yeah, woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, yeah, so this was uh, yesterday. This is Discussing Film, which has like 1.3 million followers. Uh-huh. And they can't just say, hey, uh, J.K. Rowling is going to be in executive producer on the Harry Potter remake. No, 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 no. We got to make sure you know, just like with the video game, that she's a known transphobe. Right, and then, the, and then they made sure that no one could comment. And then they made sure nobody could comment. That's okay, they're getting read. They're, yeah, here we go. Uh, they are getting uh, roasted heavily. Of course, they go into transgender law and trans Let me guess, the person and, yeah. running the disgusting film, Twitter is transgender. Probably, possibly, because uh, this happened with The Gamer, too. It was Stacey Henley, the editor of The Gamer, uh, you know, calling for a boycott of Hogwarts Legacy, and it turned out that Stacy's trans. So, of course, you know, it's going to mean more to Stacy than it is to a lot of other people. But still, you know, uh, you, you can choose personally not to support J.K. Rowling's products without threatening to kill people who stream the video game. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's that's stupid. Stop bullying us if we bully all of you. Uh, right, right. No one right. was bullying them, just that they didn't like J.K. Rowling's comments. Yeah, so... by so, playing the game did not make you a transphobe by proxy, you know? No, <laughs> and it like, got so bad that, that some VTubers got bullied off of off of uh, streaming, and it's like, come on. You know, it's, it's a stupid game. And then it turned out that she wasn't even involved in the game. They even put a, a trans character in the game in the 1800s, which makes really doesn't make a lot of sense but they did and it still wasn't enough still wasn't enough it's never enough um but yeah let's check out some of these these quote retweets here uh then we'll go out to an article that talks about it um gene gentry all you had to do was report the news and you couldn't even do that uh umbrella guy discussing film to chicken shit to turn their mm -hmm. comments on while calling jk rowling a known transfer because they knew exactly what they were gonna do uh maybe they're maybe they're getting paid by elon musk and they're going to get a check from from Space Daddy for uh, interaction and ad revenue. You know what I'm saying? So maybe mm -hmm. that's what the goal is, to just piss people off. And Lorena get Creole. Yeah. Uh, I see you, Wani Coward's limited replies to this. You have the nerve to call her trans, so just for a differing opinion. Such tolerance. Exactly. Yeah. Why'd you turn off the replies? That's so weak. Uh, J.K. Rowling should sue they you. They should be worried because she could. She uh, has a she history has. of such a thing. Yeah, um, she has uh, multiple times. Uh, she's either sued or threatened, threatened to sue. Uh, she threatened to sue a Twitter user for defaming her. She threatened the BBC. Now, going back to the gamer and Stacey Henley, we kind of have firsthand knowledge of this because one of our, our writers on clownfishtv.com was, uh, it was Jake James Lugo. He actually was the one who uh, debated Stacey Henley on the BBC on a podcast, on a radio program. And Stacey was like, you know, ranting about how awful J.K. Rowling was. And, uh, you know, Jake James was like, well, you know, people can still buy a game and play it and not agree with her. I mean, that's... Right, you don't you know, have to agree with her to buy it, you know. <laughs> that is still a thing and most people aren't aware, but uh, they had to apologize to the BBC because apparently Stacey Henley took it too far and was calling her a transphobe and a bigot and you know, yada, yada, almost a Nazi, practically a Nazi, practically a Nazi, but she's sued before she sued the daily mail for, uh, calling her a, a single mother, a single mother article uh, that they posted. Well, that's weird. I, I personally, um, in relation to the thing she said before, I prefer to be called a woman, not a menstruating person. <laughs> But uh, she, yeah, she she does have a tendency to sue. 
she does have a tendency to sue. So I would not, I would not go after her um, personally. But you know, whatever. It's just a Twitter, Twitter account. Uh, J.K. Rowling, creator of the wildly successful Harry Potter book series, is now reported to be an active executive producer on the upcoming Harry Potter series on Max, says Stephanie. Stephanie, haha. There, I fixed it for you. Yeah, you just had to take the known transphobe part out, and people can form their own opinions mm-hmm. on it. Locking comments. Yep. Creator of the Wizarding World is now reported to be an active executive, says Vera Dark. Same same thing. Very, uh, again, this is this is... 100% what video game journalists do, pop culture journalists do, what they've been doing, and uh, they're just, they're going to go down with this ship. I mean, this is what they've been doing to everybody. Now, it's easier to, to pick a target like J.K. Rowling because she's so well-known and she tends to, you know, probably overshare on Twitter, right? But uh, this is what they've been doing to people for years. Yeah, again, known transfer was a huge allegation there. I hope you and everyone labeling her get sued. That shit is tiresome. And they probably will. They probably will because she does have a tendency to do that. So this uh, this article is from uh, Outkick.com. J.K. Rowling attacked as known transphobe in unhinged tweet by popular film account. Yeah. And the thing is, this account is supposed to be like a news outlet, correct? Yeah, basically disgusting film as I, people call it disgusting film. But mm-hmm. uh, as I understand it, they just tweet out sh- you know blurbs about uh, movie news, TV news. Uh, that okay. sort of thing. I, I don't even know if they have a full blown website. I don't or know, not, but, but this isn't gonna. It, it, it might not go very well for them. Uh, they have a blue check. You're giving Musk money. What's wrong with you, disgusting film? Oh my gosh, they're blue checked? How dare they? <laughs> How dare you? You know you can hide your blue check now. Did you know that? That's an option. Then why? Okay. Yeah, right? So you're going to pay to get the features of it, but you don't want your friends to know that you, you're paying Elon Musk. You have to Musk. pay more to hide it? No. Oh my just, gosh, because there's that's hey Elon, there's money on the table right there. I don't think if so. If you want to hide your blue check, you have to you should have to pay extra like a buck a month to hide your blue check. Well, they have they have premium and then they have premium plus. I'm, I'm pretty sure because I was digging around the options the other day because I, I decided I was going to take a indefinite Twitter hiatus other than to promote stuff because I'm wasting way too much time on Twitter uh, as is disgusting film. But uh, but anyway, yeah. So I was looking through the options. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Pussies can hide their blue checks because they don't want to. They don't want to get called out. That's that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, Outkick says she's one of the loudest voices when it comes to taking a stand for science, biology, and women. That's led her over the years to be painted as a bigot and a, as a, being transphobic. Um, this site says it's nonsense, but it hasn't stopped the attacks from continuing whenever she's in the news. And again, it's not just this show. And they're going to go after that now because they failed with Hogwarts Legacy. Well, they're not going to win with this one either. It didn't no. work for Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, you know what? Go ahead. I dare you to do it because all you're going to do is make the show more popular. So go for it, you know, because it, 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 it's going to blow up in your face again. Be my guest. Yeah. Good luck with that because because right now Warner Brothers needs a hit. They need money. And Harry Potter, the Harry Potter franchise is still money in the bank. Fantastic Beasts, not so much. And the majority but, of, of normies, the majority of people in the world don't even know no. about any of this shit, nor do they care. No, they're just going to be like, oh, there's a new Harry Potter show. That's cool. Oh, it's going to be closer to the books. I love the books. I read the books growing up. My kids read the books. It's going to be more like the books. That's cool. I'm going to watch it. I'm, then we're going to go to Universal and buy some wands and some butterbeer, mm-hmm. you know, that and some Hershey's chocolate and some Legos and all the other stuff that she's getting paid for. Uh, yeah, so Friday, Deadline reported the upcoming HBO Harry Potter series is in the process of getting writers and laying out a path forward with Rowling having a big role. Of course, because she wasn't happy with some of the cuts they made in the movies. Hey, on, on, the, on the, the line of merchandise, I just yeah. want to tell you that on Amazon, they now have Harry Potter Squishmallows. Um, oh, my God. Cancel them immediately. Ron, uh, Harry and Hermione. There was a, a, an owl, too, but the owls sold out. But they're on Amazon now. Pre-order. Oh, man. Continue. Anyway, so yeah, they're like, hey, it was a pretty straightforward tweet, right? That, uh, you know, she, she's going to be executive producer on on the show based on the property that she created, which completely makes sense. But no, 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 she's a known transphobe. Uh, she wasn't described as an author, the creator of Harry Potter, a woman who is very generous with her money, or as the person responsible for the most popular book series of the past 50 years. Nope, she's just a known transphobe. They need to get like the... Uh, the Azkaban wanted poster, <laughs> right? Like take should. serious black out of it and put JK Rowling in there and be like, known transphobe JK Rowling. Call it asshole ban or something like that. Asshole she ban. It's of Azkaban. Oh, ass. I, th- I thought you said asshole van. No, asshole ban. I'm like, I don't want to catch a ride in the asshole van. <laughs> You're driving it. I'm sorry. 
Hey, kids, Harry Potter and the asshole van. I'm sorry. The dark wizards are luring children into the van with candy, <laughs> candy frogs. Uh, the tweet from Disgusting Film, dis I, I'm going to call it Disgusting Film. Disgusting Film has plenty of support with the replies turned off like cowards as Harry Potter turned into a top trending topic again. Every time you do this, you are literally putting more money into her pockets. You, I know. You, you, you get this, right? You keep doing it because you're just really dumb. It's just all it's doing is making it. Or, or, or like, are they being paid to to pretend to hate it to try, I, try to cause it to be bigger? I don't know. Oh, that's the If I was a marketing person, that's what I would do. I'd be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to give you a bunch of money. Go go do this because it'll make it much bigger. Yeah. No, that's that's I'll it. I'll make more money because you did it. Uh, that's it. That's like you know paying somebody to heck, be a heckler. From the, the the crowd, you know, the, the game that they used to play back in the day. Like, oh, I don't believe you. There's no way that your super mi miracle cure tonic can cure my uh, whatever I've got wrong with me. Uh, it can I, bring my wife back from the dead. Oh, my God. It brought my wife back. And there she is. Uh, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, th yeah, it could be. It could be. Because some of these accounts, I swear to God, they're sock puppets for studios or I mean, we know. And the thing is, is that HBO actually did HBO did get busted using sock puppet accounts to attack critics. So it is plausible that some of this faux outrage is actually being mustered up because they know that uh, cancellation means money in a lot of a lot of cases. People well, will boycott things. This Ted thing is like, oh, we'll not be watching. We'll be watching Percy Jackson instead. But you can watch both. And people are going to watch both? both. Known transphobe, J.K. Rowling. Oh, get her again for me. I thought you people were leaving. I thought you were leaving Twitter because Elon Musk bought it. And he's he's problematic. And he reinstated people you don't like. Why are you still on Twitter? Do you have a blue check? <laughs> I don't know. Do you no, have a blue don't. Chat? There you go. Um, no, no transphobe. No, no, I don't know her. It just says no, no transphobe, known transphobe, uh, known transphobe, JK Rowling. That's the legacy she left behind with her turf ass comments. Yes, Actually, because, you know, saying there was, there was a word for menstruating persons and it's woman is, you know, oh, how dare she? Like I said, I'm very offended. I do man straight from time to time. Mm -hmm. Um, I do. I get really pissy. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to menstruate. I mean, it's, it is not fun. No, neither is menstruating. Uh, disgusting film when it comes to throwing shade at people, basketball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, these, and these, none of these people are terribly important. They aren't. They're the typical, I, I guarantee you, if you look at their bios, it's going to be exactly what you think it is. They're activists, uh, pronouns, flags. Uh, just retweeting political posts. Well, the posts. bigger that post gets, the more likely they're going to get their ass in suit. Yeah, they're going to, because she does. She does sue. And you're not going to break her. Uh, you know, her play on Broadway, which I didn't know they brought it to, to Broadway, but The Cursed Child is doing very, very well. She made an extra $10, $12 million just off the play. She made, I don't know how much money off of Hogwarts Legacy. And that's nothing compared to what she's making off of Universal every year. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's making a ton of money. And you and cannot- And now on Paramount, Warner Bros. are having her do a new show. Yeah. She's gonna get paid again. She's gonna get paid again. And again and again. And guess what? Scholastic, progressive Scholastic books. They never stopped publishing her books. They still have a whole- Harry Potter section on their website, and I guarantee you they push the Harry Potter books at, at book fairs. I'm pretty sure they just opened a Harry Potter store in New York City. Probably. I'm pretty sure they did. It makes money. It makes money. There's nothing you can do. And there certainly is nothing you can do on Twitter to stop this woman from making money because Actually, everybody else. The more else you is, talk about it, yeah. the more you high five this and share it, the more money she's likely going to make. Because people are going to look at you and be like, "God, you people are bad." So shit. I'm just like, you're, all you're doing is making her more money. Good job. Well, that's that's what happened with Hogwarts Legacy. There were people that actually disagreed with her, but because of the insanity of these activists, slacktivists on social media and the threats and the cancel, then they went out and bought like three copies of mm -hmm. Hogwarts Legacy. Because they're like, ah, screw you. You're not going to tell. Yeah, when they come me, after you, know? you and, you know, it's it's going to go the opposite direction. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. you try to tell everybody they have to do and have to think. Because just liking a game or wanting to play a game does not make you a bigot. Ah. So um, there we go, guys. Uh, this well, is. A Streisand effect bound to happen. I, I can't. There has to be a, a rolling effect. This, they're gonna well, have at this point, I think rolling effect is, 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 is probably more um, current year 
than the Streisand effect. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, and she's probably making more money than Barbara Streisand is these days anyway. So anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yes. Let's wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.